Don't go and talk about my father. God is my friend. And he loves us whether or not we know him. And he'll forgive all our sins. And know the yes of us is we give each other love. Love your brother. Love your father. Love your sister. Love your mother. Your brother. Don't go and talk about my... I know I ain't supposed to be singing on this uh, thing, so I better stop before I get a flag. Good morning. Good afternoon. Y'all know I'm trying to waste a little time. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host. I'm so happy to have y'all here with me. You could be any place in the world, but you decide to come and listen to what I had to say and share a video with me. And for that, I am so grateful. Thank you very much. I, I, I thank you, every one of my su supporters. Um, you, I just appreciate you. You've been rolling with me for a long time, so I think it's time. And Takwa, I'm about to do this live stream now, so I want you to get in touch with me because I need you to moderate for me. And anybody else that's been on here for a while, all you got to do is shoot me a line. We can already get these moderators uh, up and lined up already before we go because I'm going to have to start going in a little bit. Um, hey, Michael. Anyway, um. I'm going to call in to, I mean, call in. I got to weigh in on um, Zaya Wade, uh, Dwayne Wade's son, and Gabrielle Union. Okay. First of all, I realize I'm not going to um, disparage that baby one way or the other because I know just how precious it is to destroy somebody's soul. Without even knowing it. And most of us who have kids have not even even thought about that. Because it's what our desire is. How we live vicariously through our children. Or if we're a son, if we're a father, we want our son to play ball. Or if we're a mother, we want our daughters to see. Whatever it is. Well, a lot of times parents live vicariously through their children. Which is wrong. Which is so wrong. But that's not why I'm here. My, my, I'm here to just ask you a question. Before all of y'all start running y'all asses all around, and I understand the only person I would like to hear really that's got something valid that I know right now that has something to say is uh, Angela Stanton. Is that her name? An Angela, who's got a son that came on Hollywood Unlocked. But here's what I like to ask the rest of y'all out here. Those of y'all who are so appalled at Dwayne Wade. So appalled at his son, his daughter, whatever he want to call her. Whatever. I have my own personal views, and I'm not about to expound on them right now. Right now, I'm going to expound on this. Any one of y'all out there that got a problem with that? Oh, excuse me. I, I guess what I would like to first ask is, do you have a gay child? And have you had a gay child come up to you and tell you he's in an identity crisis? He don't know, he don't, he don't feel like a boy or he don't feel like a girl. Or she don't feel like a girl and she feels like a boy. Have any of y'all produced or gave birth to somebody like that? See? Oh, what? I can't hear you. Because first of all, I don't think if any nobody have a had had, a, had to even be as sensitive to bring a life into the world that is confused about what gender it is, and you ain't never had no experience with that. 
I don't even know how you can say a, have an educated response to your baby, even though you that child's father or mother, because you putting your own madness on the kid already. How can that child ever express itself open and freely? Why do y'all think we have people now talking about a genderless society? Because y'all want to put people, listen, if a person ain't gay, he ain't going to be gay. You can't make him gay. I don't give a damn how many times you fuck him. I don't give a damn how many times. You're not going to make him gay. He's just going to be a man that's got molested by somebody. If she's a girl and she had a relationship with a woman, it might confuse her. But if she like dick, trust me, that's what she going to go get. So I noticed that none of y'all had a problem and I don't have a problem with him either because I don't want him shooting down on me because I know him. Well, actually, uh, Boosie is a good friend of, of, of Homer Blow, a friend of mine right here in the city. Boosie come here all the time, stop in, jump in at people's barbecues. He'll show up any goddamn where in people's backyards. He's got connections here in Milwaukee. I ain't seen not one of y'all come up and say anything when he let that baby get molested by a prostitute. What's his little cute? What's the boy name? His son. All right. Now, nobody. Can, I didn't see y'all jumping all in the uh, uh, making videos. Oh, what for Boosie? Don't let that grown ass woman. He allowed his son to get raped. And y'all oh, and, and ain't saying nothing about it. None of you so-called alpha men. Men, manly men. Men who are so manly, your chest busts out and your muscles bust out through your uh, shirt. Uh, what? Where y'all comments at? And let me tell you something else. When you get past my age, okay, because I'm older than all y'all out here making these stupid ass comments as far as I'm concerned. Sexuality is so defined, y'all too ignorant to even know that. Because if you don't study science, you don't really know. You don't really, you don't know shit. All you know, if you know that, is you got X and Y chromosomes. And honestly, I want to know if you know that they both get in habit of one body. Let's just use some scientific logic here. Then that means that you can have both in the same body. Y'all need to go and have some, open your mind, go have a talk with some hermaphrodites. Because I felt like a lot of you sick people until I met some. There's all kinds of people in this here life. And you can't go around hating on people because you don't understand something. I agree with what Kwame said and a lot of y'all say about the uh, 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 agenda that it seems to be pushing. They're trying to push a gay, gay, gay and a part of the population control um, agenda. I believe that. But let me rest assured and let me get y'all to rest assured. Every gay person I know got kids, man or woman. Some of the people you know you think is so manly because they got kids and a wife, they might could like a little something on the side because their sexuality is not defined. You don't find a lot of musicians who are locked in a sexual uh, uh, identity because they gender fluid. They won't never tell you the motherfuckers because you're too ignorant to even pick up on it and you don't know science. All you know is dick, go to pussy, baby, come. That's the elementary stage of it, baby. That's the lowest common denominator. We know that. But there's different nuances and different layers to this shit. I know y'all going to come out on me today. I don't give a damn. Because it needs to be said. Because we are losing a generation to hatred. All kinds of hatred. You hate somebody because they gay. You hate somebody because they fat. You hate somebody because they white. You hate some. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the hatred. And unless you give birth to a gay son or a gay daughter, 
and you have been sensitive enough to parent that child the way he needs to be parent. And until you can, you ain't got nothing to say to me because you're too ignorant. Running around here telling me I'm a man, I'm a man. You ain't shit because if you was a man, we wouldn't be in the situation we in now. Most of the men from every other group don't even have they, uh, 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 families uh, in this kind of situation. You ain't never guided, you ain't never protected, and you ain't never provided. But now you want to sit up here, have every kind of conversation about who's the wrong kind of woman, what a woman should be. She should be mad. She shouldn't be too masculine. I got a lot of testosterone. You got damn right. I got eight brothers and didn't have not one sister. Only the ones that my mother adopted. So you're right. It's a lot of testosterone running through here. OK, so if you want to be if you want if you want to hit me with that stick, go get another one because it ain't strong enough. You need a bigger stick to beat me with. Y'all wrong. You wrong. Whether you like that boy in a dress. Listen. A lot of times kids don't know what they're going to be. OK. But a lot of times kids do know what they're going to be. A lot of kind of people, you will hear them in a minute, tell you when I was six years old, I sang a song and the whole crowd uh, uh, got happy. And I knew right then this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And ain't nothing you can do to stop it. It's the same thing with sexuality. You can have sex with somebody. You can force these type of acts on people just like you can force rape on a woman. Does that mean she like rape? I just want y'all to really think about some of these things that y'all say when you talk about other people's children and you've never experienced some of this stuff that y'all are going over here talking about. Uh-uh. But you don't, but 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 your shit is very limited. You it's very limited. And that's what bothers me. Because I was appalled when that young man. Uh, uh, a boost, and I tried to get it with him. I tried to call him. I wanted Mike McGee to give me his number at home or somebody so I could tell him, dude, you had an order. I used to be a mandated reporter. As a matter of fact, I'm still am. Do I leave? Do I, do I leave? That would have been an incident that I would have had to report to the protective services. Not that I wouldn't have had to. Uh, 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 um, uh, um, uh, uh, tell on or or report that Zaya's got a dress. I would have to report that the young man, the baby boy, has uh, uh, gay tendencies, homosexuality tendencies, and hopefully he can have some appropriate services that's geared towards emotionally, mentally dealing with how he feels inside. Because you don't really know. You don't know how many X or Y chromosomes he got going around his goddamn body. How dare y'all? Y'all ain't no damn scientists. Y'all don't know nothing about what you see currently. Oh, that's what it should be. Honey, it's a lot of things that'll fool you. And every man that you think is a manly man ain't a manly man. I could show you some manly men right now that like they butts twinkle the feathers. So don't tell me that. Y'all ain't been around enough and you don't know enough. God bless you all. God bless Zaya. And God bless this crazy damn place that we call America. God damned America. I'll see y'all in the next video. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm sure y'all gonna come at me with this. Let's have a conversation. Let's have it.